Hello, everyone. Welcome to London AI Technology Meetup. Uh, so this uh, meetup we are going to look at uh, with a company called Nota AI. Uh, so we are bringing in a session uh, AI use case on driver monitoring and uh, intelligent transport system. So our speaker for today is uh, Mr. Eric Wong. Uh, he'll be covering through the AI use case monitoring uh, system and its uh, use cases uh, on Nota AI. And uh, every month uh, we are bringing in a lot of uh, interesting uh, sessions uh, in our meetup. And this is a two-part uh, series. Also, uh, we'll be publishing our next meetup uh, uh, probably end of today or later tomorrow. Uh, where uh, you can uh, join that second meetup also because this is a two-part uh, meetup series. So you can join the uh, two-part, uh, the second part that's happening in another uh, two weeks' time. Uh, so I welcome uh, everyone for joining our meetup today. And this session will be recorded. So we'll be getting uh, the session recording in our YouTube channel as well. Uh, so I will uh, hand it over to Mr. Eric Kong uh, to get started with the session. Over to you, Mr. Eric. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Rutian. So I'm the host right now, right? Um, let me just check. Just, just give me a minute, please. Okay, just give me a give me a few seconds because some of guys are still waiting outside of the Zoom. So okay, um, hello everyone, nice to meet you. I'm Eric Hong from Nota AI. Oh, okay, let me share. Okay, now today I'm gonna introduce uh, our solution, driver monitoring system and internet tra transportation systems. Um, actually, this is a um, very first part of a, a very first part of two meetups. First part will today I'm gonna cover the industry use cases of HDVI HAI. And the part two it will be which will be held in two weeks later. I'm gonna cover the topics of Nespresso, a platform for hardware aware AI model optimization, which is our core engine. But today I'm gonna only I'm gonna only cover the on the application parts. So if you have any questions during the meetup, please don't hesitate to leave a chat. And I expect that this meetup will last up to one and a half hours, but I think it will not going to like, it'll, I think it's about, it will be about an hour or so. It, it not go, it'll, it, it'll not, it's not going to last the full time of one and a half hours. So let me introduce our our company first. So we have Nota AI, we have established in um, 2015. It's been seven years or so. And we are based in Seoul, South Korea. And our clients and partners are NVIDIA and ARM and Samsung and LG, so on. And we have we have a cumulative funding, invest funding of $22.5 million. And we are in stage of series B. Um, basically we are based in Seoul, South Korea, but we also have a branch office in Berlin in Germany and San Jose in, in the States. Um, most, of our, most of our members, 
most of our team members are researchers and developers. They are uh, working in, most of them are working in Seoul. And, but most of um, our, some of our sales units are working in Berlin and San Jose. So as I told you, just briefly told you before, just before our core engine is called Nespresso. And Nespresso is the automated software platform. And the Nespresso is for uh, small devices. So we are, we are AI company for small devices. So I'm gonna introduce this part two weeks later, the, the, the next session, the next meetup. And in this meetup, I'm gonna only cover the HI developments, industrial use cases of industry, in the intelligent transportation system and driver monitoring system. So our team, most of our team members are um, R&D researcher and developers and service engineers. So, and just a quarter, um, about the qu about quarter of our members are operation and business and strategy and marketers. So you can find our presence and uh, LinkedIn here like this. So find our like this search and type AI in the LinkedIn and the visit. And if you have, if you are in, if you feel you are interested, please press to follow. We see our presence here. Um, we are mostly we are, uh, we post our news and our recent news, our informations via LinkedIn. So please visit the site. And I follow our news. So this is content. I'm going to introduce the own, what is own device AI and its applications. And the first, very first application is driver monitoring system. And the second one is, is intelligent transportation system. So what is own device AI and its applications? Um, you may, I think you, uh, most of you have already um, some basic knowledge of AI or machine learning or deep learning. Um, machine learning machine learning is actually fundam uh, theoretically is machine guided system making system, right? So the machine learning model, if it's a classifier, it draws a bond distant boundary of classification. If it's object det object detection task, it draws inside of a inside of the machine learning engine it draws like the distant boundary for that object detection task so conceptually is a ai model is machine guided distant making um distant making system so what kind of distant making so there comes the utility of on device ai um for humans under the water, over the air, on the sea, in the car, they are all different environments. They are all totally different. They are all totally different environments. But for machines, they are the same environment in terms of terms of connectivity of electric electricity and the connectivity of the power cable, po connectivity of electricity or power cable, or the connectivity of the network. So under the water or in the car, or over the air, the machines cannot use network cable for data transfer, and the machines cannot use a power cable for data supply. So under the water, the machines should use batteries for power supply, and all the networks will be disconnected and under the water. So in this kind of harsh situations, in, in this kind of harsh situations, um, 
there comes the utility of one device AI. So usually AI model is very large and is have very, it consumes a lot of electricity and consumes a lot, a lot of computing resources. Um, but in this kind of in this kind of restricted environment, the AI model is also restricted for the power, power supply or the data or the LAN networks or the data transfer. So on the on device AI means all the AI, all the data processing should be done inside of the machine. And all the data processing should be done with the battery powered. So this is the definition or the, that two main that they, these two are the main characteristic of on device AI. First, lack of the, the restriction of the power supply and second, the restriction of the network. So we say in formal term, we say hardware aware AI model optimization, but in informal term, we, we say it small AI model for small devices. So usually the neural network is very deep and it consumes the tensors inside, tensors between each nodes, its layers, like they consume a lot of computing resources. So usually this kind of big network does not fit for the small hardwares like this like just nano, um, like Raspberry Pi or, or so, even, or even the smaller one, like MCU level, deep neural networks are not going, it is not going to work well. But we, Nota AI, pursue that lightweight deep neural network. So we make AM as smaller as possible to work and to work fit for the small devices. So this edge devices, the term edge device come from the network, the field of new, field of um, uh, field of networks. So the edge means literally it's just just the edge of the entire networks. So edge devices is like in the leaf node. In the leaf, they are positioned, they are located in the leaf node of the entire network. So if some device like a car, let's say a car is a device and it's connected to the edge of the network, but um, in this car, the car should respond very fast, like right. So this this environment require the driver uh, low perception response time. If a assume a, a driver, you can you imagine that a driver should press the brake button by to protect him from the accident. Um, it the action from the from the time between the re receiving the receiving the signal and the pressing the brake button, there there's a very short, a very short period period of time. So if you use a rear internet and a device installed, a small device installed in the in the car, receives a signal, detects a signal, and say, send um, the data to the cloud or on-prem server via whole the network, and come back and do something on the server, and come back and say it's dangerous, it's too late, right? So, so there comes a. So there comes AI, which is only installed inside of the machine, inside of the device, and which does not use network for the data transfer. So we can so that we can disconnect. So that we can disconnect this part and isolate this node, and AI model. AI model only works isolated inside of the small edge. So we call edge AI or on device AI. So this is a trend. Basically we, we can use, we assume that when you use computer, we, we say that we have a lot of resources. We, we, we like, um, we presume that um, we have limit, unlimited number of, unlimited, num unlimited amount of resources. But in the edge, it's like this. 
it's you know, the, from the cloud, it's called intelligence. Intelligence is coming to the edge device. So in general, each edge device are normally, normally routers that provide all dedicated access to faster, more efficient backward, backward and core networks. But edge devices pursue that to make the cloud or servers dumb and fast. So they are trying to bring the intelligence, the brain from the cloud. They want to move the brain from the cloud and to the edge. Eric, can you share the screen, okay? Sir? Uh, can you share the screen, okay? Can I say this? Um... Can you share the screen? No, no, no. Are you, are you look, um, uh, sharing are you, stopped? Are... Yeah. Just oh, share the screen. Oh, okay. okay, okay, got it. The sharing is stopped. I don't know why. Um, okay, I don't know why it's. Um, okay, right? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the note. Um, Please. Okay. Okay. Um, the last part was that we are trying to bring, we are trying to bring an intelligent, we are trying to bring a move a brain from the cloud and to the edge. That's why we do HAI. We call edge device, we call HAI. So you can see the on-device intelligence requires no low power supply, uh, low power supply like battery powered and no line cable for data transfer. That's the two main characteristic of on-device intelligence. So by definition, by definition, by the by its own characteristic, its security and privacy issue. It's it has very strong privacy and security. Because they are not, they don't assume they are connected to the LAN cable, right? From the very beginning, they are very safe for the privacy issue, for the, like a like a personal data leak. So it's a strong for sensor data analysis, and IoT. It's reliable, scalable, and it's very highly responsive. And it's good for real time customer engagement, and it's good for customer experiences because of the speed rather than an accuracy. So this is a simple overview of the production cycle. Uh, step not, we collect the data set from the real world. And step one, we train a larger model like this. And our, our solution will compress a large model into smaller ones. I'm gonna explain this part in the next meetup. We use a model compressor. We call model compressor. We, the compressor, uh, which is which is running currently on public, which is on in under the service. They compress a larger model into smaller one, and it make a small a small AI model for small devices, customized small customized AI model. So step three, it mounts small models on small devices and inference on the camera and apply to each domain. This is a bird view of a big person cycle. So we are focusing on this part. This is what we do. We make small AI for small devices. So applications or edge devices, we'll, there, are, there may be a lot of variety of different domains that edge AI can be applied into, but Currently, we are focusing on this driver monitoring system and for the small city intelligent transportation system. So this is for the autonomous vehicle. This is for the small city. Now we are um, trying to focus our interest into these two main industrial domains. Of course, we can widen our we can widen our up, um, range of applications, but 
uh, we are a startup of 80, 80 members and we have um, we have restricted resources so yeah that's the main two part of we are interested we give our more more of our attentions so this part this part of me this this meetup um dbs and nitus the next meetup i'm going to introduce nespresso which is a, actually a family of these three sub services motor searcher motor compressor motor launcher yeah but today this part only. So if you have any questions, please note, give me a note. I think no one, right? So this part, uh, from now on, I'm gonna introduce a driver monitoring system. It's a solution, it's an example of Nespresso solution. So how can you prevent the traffic accidents and keep the world safer? There are many the more and more people are dying and getting injured um, on the road, driving a car is dangerous and it's getting more and more harmful, even in the not even in autonomous vehicle. Yeah, they still have a car accident. So what causes a serious car accident? First, your distraction. If you are a driver, uh, first uh, distraction and drowsiness among the greatest road safety risks. Uh, it's responsible for thousands of injuries and deaths every year. Drowsiness, you are sleeping in a car while you are driving and get distracted by using a cell phone or so. Yeah, this kind of, this kind of behavior will cause a serious car accidents. So what we need is an on-device alarming system alarming system one device means very responsive they don't use servers so they don't have to they don't have to transfer data set they a lot of data set via the LAN cable and do something on the server and come back and say it's dangerous it's too dangerous it's not it's not good for this kind of situation so the device here small device here is watching over the driver status if he or she is driving sleeping, during the car, during the driving, is say, hey, it's dangerous by giving a haptic or by giving a voice work, voice message or like whatever signal. It's very responsive under, yeah, it's very responsive because they, all the processing is done inside of the device. They don't, they, are, they don't use networks. So they can be very fast. And this kind of situation is good for, this device is good for this kind of situations. So, this is our demo video. So, here's driving a car, and you can see the gauge status and eyelids and head pose. It works with various camera types, like in the in the nighttime or daytime, and every, it uses a different camera angles. Yeah, she's drowning. Uh, it's robust because they um, it's robust for the shadings and lights and different environments. It's all rigid. So this is a yeah. Okay, this is a simple, simple demo video. So that's what we do. So it's actually in cabin data to signal processing solution. What is the data to data to signal processing solution? You're a driver here, car. He or she is uh, driving, and the data set will be sent to the edge device here. It's a it's a dash cam. Dash cam, which is which watch which is watching over the driver status. And in addition, it's a good, it's a safe for the data leak because they don't use network and you, the users um, users will not, don't have to care, don't have to worry about being watched because this device is disconnected, disconnected 
with the internet. So Nota DMS solution will give a signal, transfer this data set into signal of it's dangerous or not. Give a signal and give a feedback loop for the driver within um, within less than one second. So this is our demo. This is an example of a demo. So it's me and the camera is watching over the uh, person's face. And there are four models, four AI models running simultaneously. And first model detects the bounding box of a driver's face. And second model checks the landmark like this, landmarks of a driver's face. And a third and fourth models detects the left, left eye and right eye. So by combining all of these four different uh, informations from four different more distinct models, we, we can calculate the head pose of the driver and we can give a range like this of drowsiness and can give eye aspect ratio or mouse aspect, mouse aspect ratio means uh, you open your mouth, you're, if you're yarning, you open your mouth like this and the mouse aspect ratio will get increased by using, a, we use the IR camera and RGB camera. RGB camera is for the daytime and IR camera is for the nighttime. And basically we have this four, these four basic models, but um, for our customers different requirement, we can, we can attach these optional models for a face, mo face mask or smoking or cell phone and face recognition. And this part in particular, this face recognition model can work for um, keeping a child away from the car. Like uh, teen, like most of our teenagers can still can steal a key, uh, the key of the car from the from their parents and trying to move the parents' car. But if you have this this face recognition model, the face recognition model um, can distinguish which the driver is an adult or or pre pre registered driver or not, and you know, the face, this face recognition model will, will um, stop the drive the car um, to get moved. So these four different models can be up, applied for up to this, onto these basic models up to our client's needs. So these are the key features not the DMS offers. It detects unsafe driver's behaviors like drowsiness, restriction, or using cell phone or smoking. And plus is it can, can use the face recognition model. Oh, it can use the face recognition model for registered or to distinguish registered driver from un from registered unregistered registered driver. So the modules can be chosen and packed, packaged at your request, at the client's request. So these four features make um, our GMS solutions uh, special. First, it's high performance on low cost HD devices. Facial recognition, face detection, landmark detection, pose estimation, visual enhancements, um, behavior analysis, only these models can be compressed or optimized for different requirements of different hardwares. So what we do is not only making small AI models, but also the small AI models will be customized, optimized for each device's runtime, each device's different environments. You know, these four different devices will use different, maybe they have different firmware and firmwares, or they may use a different type of um, SDK APIs, or they may be use a different runtime versions or runtime engines, which can be distinguished from the, from the others that our core solution Nespresso will optimize AI model 
and customize this dot AI model for the specific um, the client's specific specific device specs. So complex deep learning system runs on tiny devices, and that's enabled by the Nespresso, our core engine, which will be introduced in two weeks later, the last the second meetup. So this is a um, performance table of our DMS solution. This is the main feature, first method mark and island mark. See, this is uh, different for the different hardwares. They may be they, they may perform differently. But you see the optional feature. So this is over inference time, main and main and optional. Inference time of the main main feature, inference time of main and plus optional features. It's less than um it's less than few milliseconds, right? It's a 90 milliseconds, 95 milliseconds is very yeah, it's a one and sixty-six milliseconds. It's so FPS, 19 frames per second, 15 frames per second, and 10 frames per second. And it consumes a very low amount of electricity. Even though, even though um, four to five different AI models are running simultaneously in the small single device, you see that one, two, three, four, four AI models runs at the same time, it's simultaneously, simultaneously in the small just Nano or Raspberry Pi device, which the, in particular, the Raspberry Pi device will cost less than $100 US dollars. So the cheap device, usually this Raspberry Pi or Arduino, the kind of small devices is used uh, for the kids in the school to teach them, to teach them how to code, how to use this, how to use the, like how to use the softwares small code and but that kind of chip devices can also use um used for our solution so our dms solution is available for various camera types rgb camera ir camera for the night time and it also works in ir and rgb hybrid version and it supports flexible camera positions like windshield and rear mirror and center fresia and cluster and different um, if the dash cam is installed in different positions and different locations uh, it works well and robust so even though this the driver uses glasses it's where she wear glasses or cap or she uses a cell phone and uses um, take a cigarette and sunlight and and different angle or in the, like the shadows, different angles of shadows, it's okay. It works works fine. So you see the camera. Yeah, you see the camera. It's watching over his face, and you see the screen here. And here, you see here here. Here's a that device, small Jetson Nano device. And this is a switch to switch between the Jetson Nano to the Raspberry Pi or so. In this demo, you will see different angles of head pose or wearing the eyeglasses, wearing the glasses. You see the gauge here, head pose. If he's closing his eyes, yeah, you see this is a nighttime. A bounding box. Yeah, if he's close his eyes, you see the red gauge increasing in this part. You see the device, the speed of detection and distance making, it's very responsive. Yeah. 
Yeah. So even though the task of detecting and discriminating, di distinguishing the status of driver's face, the task itself is not that not that difficult, but we can do that simple task in the very low power devices. That's the point key. That's the key. In this, um, um, yeah. So use case one is the dash cam of DMS applied to dash cam camera using cell phone smoking, draws and distraction and camera support, RGB and IR. And we, 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 ha we have already the record of deployment in the, we have our production, production level. We have deployed a, into the Ember Lot CV25 board. Uh, it's deployable on low spec hardware like this. So we sell our solution with the OEM and registered using cell phone smoking drowsiness restriction. You can like, if you are our client, you can request us which feature you want to install to get installed in the device, so that we can like it's like a building building block. We have five models. We combine it, combine them, and run deploy it into the small device. So inference time is less than 1.0.33 seconds on ARM Cortex-A9. So it's environment agnostic solution, sunlight or or in the in the dark, shadow, light, whatever. It's environment agnostic solution. It's robust for robust on illumination based on our camera. So for the, for the market view. We do your position here. And we supply small AI model. We don't make hardware, by the way. We are a software company. We don't make hardwares. Our clients make hardwares. So our clients bring their custom hardware or ready-made hardwares or whatever. They bring their hardwares to us. And we make small AI model. And we put this model into this device by studying our clients' hardware environment, if they have their own custom SDK, we study their SDK. If they have their own firmware or they have own um, runtime software, we study their runtime software and we put, um, we make small AI model and optimize our AI model for that specific custom hardware. And like a dash cam or a fleet vehicle or insurance company, they're called tier two market. And now it's also called aftermarket. It means the tier one is before market, by the way. So for the mobility in the car, for, for the autonomous vehicle, the vehicles af after the vehicle is built from the factory, they're called tier two. So this, for example, the dash cam can be attached later, the car is produced, right? So this market is called tier two and tier one is a traditionally BMW and Volkswagen, Bosch and Continental. So car companies, they're, they're making, literally they make a car. So it's a car before market and try, we are trying to put our AI model here and we are going to proceed to the before market. This is our, this is our view of the market of our 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 custom um, customers market so and after that the our AI model is, is deployed for the small device it will be attached it will be put into the small the car here you see the in the 2023 in the next year um, they will have a year end cap regulations like since you're in the UK, you may understand this concept. This is a strong regulations for the entire Euro, Eurozone that um, every autonomous vehicle, I mean, the, every autonomous vehicle in the factory, they should, um, they should 
there should be attached there should be there should additional small device which watches over the driver's face the device should be installed in the factory level that's the that's the main point of the rear end cap regulation because um now now these days we are we are living in the, in the world of autonomous vehicle but autonomous vehicle the drivers can easily more easily lose attention because they don't drive while driving so this rule and regulation regulates that every autonomous vehicle even though the driver in the autonomous vehicle does not drive they say it's much more more dangerous comparing to comparing to just a traditional car the driver will sustain uh, they will have the, his or her own attention because they drive while driving but for the autonomous vehicle the drivers can easily get sleep more can easily get distracted like that so the anti regulation regulates the car companies the car companies that um, they have to install at least one device, small device inside of the car, which watches over the driver's face. By forcefully rest, uh, restrict the driver to get awakened using uh, um, when they are driving. So that's the main point of N your NK regulation, which will be uh, which will be on public on 2023, and we are aiming. Here currently we are aiming that that point to get into the market. So this is a Europe version of the Europe. This is a version for the state US uh, US version. So DMS driver monitoring system is not just for our device, but entire for the entire industry. The DMS driver monitoring system will become a standard safety feature soon by the regulation. So our production roadmap, um, currently we have a driver monitoring system for a single driver in a car, but we are pursuing like this, a family occupant monitoring system so that the driver monitoring system can not only, um, this not only detects the driver status, but also the person sitting here or a child or friends um, sitting behind of the driver's seat. So it's, it's it can be evolved to the for to the occupant monitoring system or so. So so far I ex I have explained the driver monitoring system, which is a first, very first industrial use case for the small AI model. And the AI small AI model is generated by the Nespresso. This is our core engine. And now I'm gonna explain, briefly explain the intelligent transportation system, which is our second industrial solution, which is also ena get enabled by the Nespresso. So now we are in a smart city. Uh, Kashmir on car as a mobile device, an intelligent transportation system, ITS, is an advanced application which aims to provide innovative service relating to different models of transport and traffic management. So ITS, intelligent transportation system, is a actually a very small, very tiny part of a big, huge, small city project. We are here. So there's a concept of a local dynamic map. So when you are using a Google map, there will be several different layers. Layer one is a permanent static, like a water, like a river or mountain, or like the things in the map, which does not move or permanent. They all stick to the map. There's a, that the informations of that kind of things are in the layer one, in layer two, layer three, layer four. A layer four is highly dynamic. It has the informations of the dif different positions of the car and different positions of a different 
um, time durations of the signal phases or so. From layer one to layer four, it's getting dynamic, or from the layer four to layer one, it's getting static or permanent. So um, we, IT, our IT solution uses these two part of layers, transient dynamic and highly dynamic layers. So transient dynamic layer um, uses a semi-dynamic data like road, weather, and traffic conditions, light signal phases. And layer four is much more dynamic comparing to the transient dynamic. It indicates data like frequent locations, which changes, um, which changes very dynamic, less than just a few milliseconds and pedestrian positions and trajectories. So as you may notice that the driver monitoring system I, ex I have explained earlier is an in-cabin data to signal processing solution, but ITS is an outdoor, the same thing. It's outdoor, but it's a data to signal processing solution. So the car is here, it's an outdoor solution. So the data is collected through the traffic camera installed out of the car in the in the road, and not I say solution transfer this data set, transform the data set into the signal, to say that it's so that for the pedestrian and both for the pedestrian and the driver to give an alert. So it's called it's called outdoor data to signal processing solution. So it's just it's the same. Um, the environment um, in this environment uh, is highly highly required for our solution. Not even not for the not just for the accuracy, but the response time matters here, because this this task is for protecting protecting pedestrian and driver from the accident. Um, of course, the accuracy matters, but rather than the accuracy, the response time. Of the of the edge device matters in this in this specific task. So, Nota and Dejan, Dejan is a city name um, of South Korea. Uh, Dejan is a metropolitan city, like Seoul. Dejan is also a metropolitan metropolitan city. Um, was selected as the final operators of 2022 smart city project, and we do we did. Yeah, we did in charge, we did uh, have in charge of the small part of a big, huge, small city project. So we have already in the real time use cases, industrial use cases. So this is NVIDIA, our, we have, NVIDIA is our partner and we have collaborated with NVIDIA that NVIDIA provide their device to us I just say that we don't make hardware. So NVIDIA, like the big companies, hardware companies like NVIDIA provides, provide their device to us. We make software, AI model as a software and put it in, put AI model into the small devices, which NVIDIA, you know, which big companies um, provide to us. So it's on-device IT solution. It's real-time traffic signal control and intelligent video analytics applications. So we have um, in real time use case of P City in South Korea. We call it P City IT Solution Pilot Project. We have successfully finished it, completed it, and you you may find some news articles which are published by the NVIDIA that we have this kind of you know, success story. So mainly we have three subcategories of IT solution. First, we provide we provide traffic data extractor. I, no, 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 we have we provide AI traffic con we have AI traffic camera. So this AI traffic camera is which is installed which are installed over the road here. It collects the data, and the data set itself will be transferred for the government operators or 
using the traffic the AI track using the traffic data collected by the AI camera here, the traffic data extractor will send the data set into the smart traffic signal control system or AI safe crossing system. So the smart what is smart traffic signal control system? This system is like um, you see the camera is watching over the the status of the road and the car is driving like in this direction and it gives a signal dynamically according to the crowdedness of the road. If the road is crowded with a no many number of cars, the signal, the traffic signal, with AI traffic signal will automatically detect the number of cars and say, oh, the, car, uh, the road is fully crowded with the cars, then the signal, traffic signal will give a longer signal to pass to pass more cars. And if there's the road is not crowded, if there is no car on the road, then the traffic signal will maybe the traffic signal will decide not to give a signal and give signal much longer, more longer signal in that direction. So this smart smart traffic signal control project solution will give more dynamics in the road, you know. Um, in many cities or most of our most of our countries and cities, this traffic signal uh, traditionally the traffic signal change, switches its red and green light lights red green red green red green very periodic manner in very steady manner like ten seconds for the red light or fifteen seconds for the green light or so regardless of the status of the road dynamic status of the road. But using our traffic, smart traffic signal control solution, we can give dynamics to the road. And this thing is AI safe crossing solution is for the safe safety for the pedestrian and the car, like turning right. If the car is going to come here and trying to turn right, and the pedestrian is standing here and trying to cross the road, the camera is watching over the driver's position, location of the location of the car, and location of the pedestrian, and say um, it predicts the position of each object, like car and pedestrian, after three seconds. After three seconds, and after three after three seconds, if the if the camera here detect if the camera predicts an accident after three seconds, it gives an alert before that accident happened. That's an AI safe crossing solution. So it's um, on device real-time incident prediction, uh, selective safety control. So this is a demo video of AI traffic camera. So AI traffic camera collects data set in real-time traffic data from the road and analyze various traffic informations and is robust for the various environments like sunlight and daytime, nighttime, sunrise, so on. Collects the spatial information by detecting object detection task like this. Multi-channel video data processing with edge AI. So collection is to, is to data is to collect the data set from the road. Collection of traffic data including car type, traffic flow, and speed of the car, and number of the cars on the road, which are robust for to weather conditions. So our second solution, uh, using the data set collected, collected from the road. This is AI traffic signal control solution. So it's RL based, reinforcement learning based, and traffic signal control solution. What does what does it do? If the it counts 
the type and speed and number of cars on the road. And the AA model inside of the camera um, calculates the traffic status states and signal timing. They give longer signal in this direction because in this direction, there's no car. In this direction, there's a car. So this is static. This is dynamic. So we are gonna, so we want to give dynamics, dynamic traffic signal control, dynamic, um, dynamic range of the time duration between the red and green light. So it's isolated in the section control, it's arterial control and traffic network control. And our third solution is AI safe crossing solution. And the pedestrian here, the pedestrian and the car trying to turn right and it predicts, yeah, it, the camera predicts the accident a pedestrian and a car before three seconds. Before three seconds, it predicts this accident will happen after three seconds so that it gives an alert for the pedestrian. Using, you can give an alert by the, by the light, red light. It is, it will be installed um, over the pay under the pavement like this, it gives an, it's for giving an alert for the pedestrian. So AI safe crossing solution is a using a they use a LDM layer four, which is highly dynamic, using short term object object information, which will be less than few seconds. It predicts a potential accident and incident. And it provides a warning warning signs um, three seconds before the accident or the incident through in ground devices such as light or voice alert. It analyzes using its devices in the field and enable faster analysis because they don't use the network cable for for the heavy deep learning neural network inference tasks. All the data processing is will be done inside of the device. So this is our use cases, city A and city B. We have um, pro we have proved that our solution is robust. Is our solution is working robust in the real time or real industries, both for the AI traffic signal control, AI safe crossing solution. We have installed our solution in South Korea, some cities, some locations of our of our city in South Korea. We have proved that. Yes, yes, it works well. So this is our uh, simple um, specification of a uh, hardware and data type, number of channels and FPS, and FPS of the compressed model and the performance of the original and after the compression, model compression. And this video will show the dashboard. If you are, yeah, if you are a traffic signal manager, you are a human. You are you are a human traffic signal manager. We provide a, like this kind of dashboard. And this direction, the camera is watching over these look these area, and the car is coming and going out in this direction. See the number of cars, south, east, west, and north, or four directions that count the number of cars and give an analysis, give a simple basic statistics of the road. This is a smart AI smart 
AI traffic camera solution. And next thing is a safe crossing dashboard. If you see the car, the yellow box, yellow secures a car and green thing is a bus and truck, motorcycle, pedestrian. They're moving, they're coming here and there. And AI safe crossing solution, which is over the, here, this, the, this part, the car is trying to turn, trying to turn right, trying to turn right. The camera will detect the position of the car and give an alert for this, the pedestrian who is standing here at this direction. Pedestrian is what um walking through like in this direction. And our third solution is a, a signal, signal. It is to give a dynamic signal for the traffic light. It gives us statistics and, and so on. You see our solution will give you a, like the square. You see this square. This is a this is an area of attention, area of interest the camera is watching, so that the manager who will control this dashboard can manually reposition, relocate this area, the area of interest. like this. So as a summary, we have I have explained the device the meaning of one device AI and its applications, and I have introduced our first solution, industrial solution of driver monitoring system, and the second solution is intelligent transportation system. So, actually, this is the end of our end of today's meetup. So I explained the industry use case of driver monitoring system and intelligent transportation system and one and a half hours. This is today, this is wrong. So the next meetup, the part two, which will introduce the Netspresso, will be um, held in two weeks later. It's 24, 24 November, I think. So if you have any, yeah, this is the right, this is the right schedule. So our next meetup, the part two will all in two weeks later, 24 November, 22, 2022. I'm going to introduce Nespresso, but if you are interested in getting test interested in the our solution, you can visit our website, Nespresso, and oh, yeah, this is our website, our solution. This is a brief overview. Uh, um, our solution, our this is our core core engine that is already running on the public. So we, you can visit our service website www.nespresso.ai and sign up, log in, and it's all free. It's, we don't we don't charge it. So anybody can use come come and enjoy, enjoy uh, how to compress the AI model, how to find the small AI model, and how to deploy and launch. Uh, the small AML for for specific or custom hardware. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give a hands-on tutorial two weeks later with this material. So yeah, so this is a this is the thing I have here, and thank you for thank you for your time today and if you have any in, in if you have any questions or if you have any things to note to me please don't hesitate to leave a chat or give me a email whatever and let me check if you have no 
So yeah, I think it's done today. So do you have any comments, Adiha, Mr. Adiha? Do you have any comments so far? Uh, no, not at the moment. Uh, so if they have any questions, uh, they can uh, post in the meetup uh, page as well, and they can email or write to us also. They can ask during the next meetup session as well. And uh, we are planning, as Mr. Eric mentioned, like on 24th, we are having the second session. And keep uh, tuned to that as well. And in the meantime, we'll be sharing the recording of this uh, today's session in the coming days. So thank you all for joining uh, the today's session. And also, I would like to thank uh, uh, Eric Khan also uh, to joining uh, this session and uh, sharing his knowledge about this uh, AI use case topic. And looking forward to see you again uh, in the next meetup uh, session in two weeks' time. Uh, so thank you all for uh, joining the today's session and have a good evening. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your time and have a good night.